What's up, guys? I go by the name of Chewy Chew, right here on the Lori Super Girl TV, and you're welcome to the scoop. Let's get it. Play that music. <laughs> First off on the news, the Ado State Judicial Panel has called for the arrest of the mother of Nollywood actress Lillian Afegbae. Her name is Carol Afegbae. Quick backstory. Now, she's currently a retired chief superintendent of police, but she's being called to answer for the allegations of the murder of the then 500 level University of Benin student Ibrahim Momo in 2015, when Momo obviously was a student, may so rest in peace. And at that time, Mrs. Afebai was a divisional police officer. They're simply saying, if you didn't do it, you have no reason to be absent. Come and defend yourself. The sun is shining and it is a great day to shine on criminals. As the ex-chairman of the Pension Reform Task Team, Abdul Rashid Mena, was caught trying to leave the country. He was actually caught in Niger Republic, which is our neighboring country, um, somewhere up there. This man stole a lot of money. He's facing 12 counts of money laundry. The EFCC is looking for him. I will look for you. I will find you. He jumped bail. He disguised as a woman in November, but Halloween was in October, and they caught him by the border. He should have taken <laughs> lessons from Bobrisky. The baddest. I say what she say. Baddest. I've got great news for you guys that love everything green, <laughs> and I don't mean recycling. United Nations have voted to wipe off marijuana from the list of dangerous drugs. Now this was first pushed forward by the WHO, the World Health Organization, in 2019. But now they're saying marijuana is not a dangerous drug. I'm sure you're highly elated. But some countries are opposed to this. It includes China, Pakistan, Russia, Egypt. Those are the countries um, that are not really down with the new thing. Oh yeah, and Nigeria. <laughs> so if you try it. I'll lock you up. In the world of entertainment, Nigerian singer Tiwa was in the news for being savage. Now, this was not without reason as she took a swipe at Pulse Nigeria music editor Motalia Lakhe's opinion piece on her brand, which was named Time Magazine's one of the best albums of 2020, and he really wasn't feeling that. So he basically um, critiqued her brand, her failing brand, as he calls it, and her album, also Western Media. Now, Mommy Jam Jam was not with anything at all. She was not there to play as she took swipes at the company. She says her baby Jam Jam makes more money than the whole company. And re really, I, I, I doubt that was true, but you know, the Antarctica. The African giant Burner Boy is in the news, this time in a cheating scandal. As a 23-year-old model in London, Joe Pearl, claims he was cheating on Steph London with her for the past two years. She said it started when uh, big boy Burner slid into her DMs. She's been holding it down for two years, but she's fallen in love. Shorty is caught in feelings, and she can't hold it back anymore. I guess as an African giant, you always have an appetite for more than one. From one woman wahala into another, as Nigerian media personality, actor, and comedian, Bali Loma resurfaces back on social media after a long time away. Why was he gone for so long? Well, it could be um, alluded to the fact that he faced a bunch of rape accusations, rape and sexual assault accusations in April of 2020. Now, this isn't the first time that his name has popped up relating to that type of issue. Across the years, it has happened, but this time around, um, it was really so, so much that the man had to take time off. No matter how organized your plans are or how aligned your vision is, life has a way of unexpectedly taking you back a few steps. I don't know what's going on, but um, that really needs to clear the air. Did you or did you not do it? If you did it, you're gonna make amends or not? The year 2020 was a tough year for all of us, including our Nigerian celebrities. But that doesn't mean there weren't a few reasons to smile. For example, singer LAX, who recently released his album titled Zaza Vibes, announced on social media that he recently joined the Landlord Gang. As he revealed his mansion, I think it's in the Lekki area of Lagos. Shout out to him. I hope we get the invite to the house party. Mr. Easy just got a Range Rover valued at about 140, 45 million Naira. And he took that on his social media to share. And he said he'd be so pissed if he doesn't spend enough time in the country to enjoy his car. 
That's such a flex. He's not the only one joining the Rain Gang, as Linda Ikeji also took to social media to reveal that she recently acquired an SUV valued at 175 million naira. She was showing that off on social media, and she also said, "All of this is nice, but I'm still looking for a bay." Linda, call me or email me. David O is set to become a best man as his driver is getting married. That's kind of nice of a woman of our level to actually step up and be his best man. He took to Twitter to announce this and how elated he was. I wonder what the best man speech is gonna be like. I just wanna thank everybody for coming out here. I'm so happy for you, my guy. Um, newlyweds, madam, this guy is gonna drive you crazy. It's gonna drive you to the ends of the earth. Now marriage is for better or for worse, and while David Little Driver is having a better time, somebody is having a bad time. Duncan Mighty also took to social media to let us know that his wife wants to kill him. But really, whose wife is never trying to kill them? Head over to our page at Olori Spagel on Instagram. We have that if you have the time to read. But I really hope everything is resolved and is not as serious as it is. As he recently said in a track he featured in, when life shows you Pepe, you carry on and do Pepe soon. So Duncan, take your advice. When the life will come, you show me Pepe, brother. Like for one more entertainment scoop, gist, and all that, head over to our website at www.olorisupergirl.com. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our social media platforms. The same thing at Olori Supergirl. Till I come your way next time, I go by the name of Chewy Chew. And I need a drink. <laughs>